Hi, I'm here to help you answer the question, how do I join Toastmasters? First of all, there's probably a Toastmasters club near you, but you might not be aware of it. So what you can do is to just go to Google and type Toastmasters club near me. Toastmasters club near me. The set results will give you Toastmasters clubs that are closer to your location then you could visit and observe a meeting. The first question you probably have is, can I just join any Toastmasters meeting? Yes, guests are invited to Toastmasters meetings, which means that you can walk in to any Toastmasters meeting and observe. You don't need any special ticket. You don't need to pay any fee to observe a Toastmasters meeting. However, there might be some clubs that are considered closed clubs and most of these clubs are corporate clubs which means that they are localized in an institution. So for example, a bank might have a Toastmasters club within the organization and that would only be open to members of the bank or staff of the bank. However, most Toastmasters clubs are open which means that you could easily walk into any Toastmasters meeting and observe. What happens when you finally make the choice that, okay, I want to be part of Toastmasters. What should I do? After you visit a few clubs, and it's advisable to visit a number of clubs because different clubs come with different club cultures, which might be appealing to you. So for example, club A might have a particular club culture which you are interested in and you think might vibe well with you. Therefore, you have to visit a number of clubs in order to assess that for yourself. Now, when you finally make the decision to join, all you need to do is to approach the club executives. So the very club that you want to join, they are club executives within the meeting. And usually, the club executives would approach you at the end of the meeting and say that, hey, if you're interested in joining, this is the process. So you would have that readily available for you. However, there are certain things that you need to know that Toastmasters International is a non-profit organization. However, it is a volunteer organization, which is a self-based system. And therefore, we pay subscription or what we call the renewal fee to Toastmasters. Every six months, Toastmasters or members of Toastmasters renew their membership to Toastmasters. And what that does is that it gives the Toastmaster access to certain course materials. The course materials or the courses in Toastmasters are termed as paths. So there's a pathway program that provides a number of courses that enables the Toastmaster to achieve and learn certain competencies. Therefore, the $60 that we pay every six months is to make sure that you're a member in good standing. Now, the courses that I mentioned come at a cost of $20. It comes at a cost of $20, which means that when you are joining as a new member, a completely new member to Toastmasters, you are going to pay $80. And these figures that I'm mentioning are the current figures as at the time of this video. Probably in the future, it might be lesser or it might be more. So at the time of joining, just confirm with the executives what the actual figure is. But as of now, we pay $60 every six months to renew our membership. Then when you pick a course or a path, that course comes at a cost of $20. There are about 11 parts in Pathways. We have dynamic leadership, visionary communication, persuasive influence, motivational strategies. We have visionary communication. We have engaging humor. We have presentation mastery and so on. And all these parts ensure that you leave with a particular skill set at the end of the path. So if you're someone who is interested in mastering your presentation skills, then it's likely the presentation mastery path will be good for you. 
What about the nature of a club meeting? Certain clubs meet physical, at a physical venue, meaning that you have to walk into a meeting in order to observe a meeting. Some clubs meet virtually, that is via virtual application like Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and what have you. And that became necessary after the COVID-19 pandemic, where there was a lockdown and we had to resort to the virtual space. So most clubs today are still meeting virtually. Some clubs do combine the physical setting and the virtual setting, which means that you can walk into the meeting, but in the same meeting, there'll be an online audience. So there'll be a projection of an online audience into the meeting. So that's a hybrid. My club, for example, Busy Speakers Toastmasters Club, meets in a hybrid setting. So we have a physical setting, physical audience. In the same meeting, we have a virtual audience. Now, as a new member, it's advisable to have an experience of both, but the full experience of Toastmasters comes with a physical setting. You have to have both, both the experience of the physical setting and the hybrid setting. I hope this answers your questions. Let me see if I've answered every question. Just give me a minute. Yeah, basically that's it. But just for confirmation, once you are registered and what the registration process entails is you give out your basic bio information, your name, your address, your email, your phone number, and that information is forwarded to Toastmasters International. So after the application is processed, you would receive an email notification with a membership ID from Toastmasters. And that membership ID is what confirms that you are now a Toastmaster. It is the same membership ID that you are going to use to access the Toastmasters portal, what we refer to as Basecamp, to access most of your course materials. So I hope this helps and do enjoy a Toastmasters meeting. You are always welcome to a Toastmasters meeting. Toastmasters, where leaders are made.